All right, here's a baritone ukulele lesson for James Brown funky chords, funky rhythm stuff. I did play guitar for James Brown for eight years, so I did learn some of this stuff firsthand, so it should be fairly accurate. <laughs> Uh, now, we don't have all the strings, of course, on this that you have on a guitar, but we can still do a lot of these fun chord shapes. So the first one we're going to look at is a dominant 7-9 chord. So this would be like a D7-9. You just call it a D9. So we've got the fourth fret up here, and then we're going to use this ring finger to get 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Getting that knuckle to bend in the right way is a big part of how you play these chords. We played this chord, it would have the other string up here. We played that chord so much that I swear I would wake up on tour and my hand would be in that shape. So a lot of a lot of it was like, that gig was like shaking off that chord to go do a solo and then come back to that chord. So it's like we lived in that chord. So this is the D9 James Brown funk chord. So what we're going to do, we're going to get into a little thing like that, but we're going to use this pinky down here and make a 13 chord. My first night with James Brown, he came up to me and he kept going, 13, play 13, and I, I didn't know what he was talking about, is that an E or something, or, you know, but I realized he meant put that pinky down on that funk chord, and you got a different extension to the chord, it has a different ring to it, so we got, you can use a pick if you want, or whatever, I'm going to use my nail a little bit to make it a little bit more uh, bright. And some of that, a chick a chick, that's where you, you don't have tension on the strings anymore. You're just like laying them there so they're muting the strings. So that's how you can get some like some staccato hits on that. You're easing the tension. So instead of that has to ring out, I can, I can make it go away quick with that hand there. And you don't have to do that little cheeky chick thing. That's just kind of keeping time, you know. Now, if you wanted to, you could use this D here to get more of the proper bass note, but then you kind of lose that major third in there. But if you like the sound of that better, you might do that. You could even go to, the, like, these fingers. Now, I am having to use my right hand to block off this one to make that staccato. I'm going to go back to this one. So that would be like Sex Machine by James Brown. Now, if we come up here, we would come up to the ninth fret and the 10th fret. That is going up to the fourth of that chord. A lot of James Brown songs did that. And then later on, a lot of times you go to the fifth to get like a turnaround to go back to the first one. So this is our one chord in this case, that D7-9. Now we come up here, we have ninth fret and 10th fret. That's our G7-9. And that would be our 13 for that, G7, 9, 13. So when he says, let's go to the bridge, you come up here and you start in the 13. And then you go down to, come up chromatic there. So that's 7 and 8s to 8 and 9s to 9 and 10s. Those are kind of like upbeats where those chord hits are. Because you know when you're strumming, you're basically just keeping like this groove going. It's just some of the chords you hit and some of you don't, you know. But where those chords hit, those are on upbeats. So that's why they are upstrokes. And then later he'd call for some hits, and we're going to go up to this A7-9. We're going to do one, two, three, four. So we're doing our bridge. We're going, give me those four hits. Hit me now. One, two, three, four. And then we're back. Okay, so that's basically Sex Machine. Um, there's another cool riff in a different version of Sex Machine we can look at. This is like a D minor top. You got the seven, six, and five there. Um, you got. So I'm doing the whole chord there, those three notes. I'm not playing anything on the big string.
but I'm using this pinky. Bum, bum, ba, dum, and it's going down to that one there. So bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum. Okay, so that was just a little add-on to Sex Machine there. Now we could look at, let's look at Make It Funky and Hot Pants. That's another cool, same chord. Like I say, a lot of James Brown songs, they have that same chord. Um, but this one's going to have a particular strumming pattern that's really cool. So that goes back to that muting technique down there. So what's going to happen here is we got a down and then we got two chicks on the next two. So it's a down and then an up on a chick and a down on a chick and then another chord on the next up. So it's Okay, so it's one e and a. Uh. So it's one a uh, and the the e and or the one e and a. Uh, those are the chicks. So one e and a. Uh. So let's look at the next part. So our first part, one, uh, then you got two more chicks on the down up after that, so. Right? So it becomes a thing where you have a chord and then two chicks and then you have another chord. So you got chord, chick, chick, chord, chick, chick, chord, chick, chick, chord, chick, chick. And at the end you go chord, 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 chick, so. So, let's try that. I'm going to go a little slower. Two, three, four. Okay, now there's a riff that goes with that. So that, that rhythm right there is in both Make It Funky and in Hot Pants. Um, now Hot Pants has a cool riff that goes along with it. So that's going to be 10 to 12 on the, on the D string. And then you're going to hit the two tens on the second string and third string as a chord right there. Back to that 12 right there. Later, there was like a little, um, a little deviation to that, um, and then it would go. And that's those twelves on the second and third string, just like as we did those tens on the same two. So, and that's all happening underneath the. So we got. That was a cool riff we can add to that. So that's D string, O, four, five, six. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. So that's kind of a seven seven dum 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 do da do de da do 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 so that was seven five three O oh, at the end. Three O oh, four five six seven seven bum 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 So once again that's Seven five seven seven five seven five three O. Oh. So we got. Let's do the whole riff again. O to four is how it starts. And then. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And then you be back. 
ready to be back to this. Okay, let's do that riff one more time. Over to four. Oh, four, five, six. He would do a little thing. All right, I'm Damon Wood. Thanks a lot. That's been a little James Brown, some funky chords. You got some Sex Machine, Make It Funky, Hot Pants. All right, I'll see you soon. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave me something in the comments. Let me know what else I can teach you. And talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe. Peace.